Hi there, everyone. You are currently looking at a storm system now approaching northeastern Luzon. This is Tropical Storm Kaitak, or locally known here as Helen. But you can see in the last several frames a clear distinction right around this area of a low-level circulation just being able to peer through these higher cloud tops. And what is happening here is likely a landfall just towards the north of Kasigoran, south of Apari. Many of the major agencies are actually holding off and expecting the storm to China jet off there towards the north. But given the most recent information, it does look like overnight, uh, uh, going into the 15th, early morning on the 15th especially, a landfalling tropical system here, but that's not really the main threat at this time. Regardless, if the system does make landfall or not, it's not going to be a big windmaker. It's that rainfall out here. Look at these bands pushing in from the west, coming across the Manila area, all much of Luzon, even down there towards Visayas. Actually, around Manila, 180 millimeters was recorded in the past 24 hours. Up towards Subic Bay, you've actually seen 146 millimeters, almost a centimeter and a half. This is not near the totals that we saw last week, but the fact is this is on this already saturated ground. Flooding is going to continue to be very high at risk and already widespread reports of floods here. Sadly, one report of a death, a 37-year-old person due to drowning out here. I sadly would not be surprised if we hear more of these reports into the coming days just due to the swelling of all these rivers and plus landslides are going to continue to be high risk. But near the coastlines, northeastern Luzon, 5 to 6 meter high waves are also going to be a major threat here. And I'm talking about the center of circulation. Let's peer through this and look at the microwave imagery. Because with this, you can give a clear indication of where the storm system is just towards the east of Cassigoran, moving off towards the northwest. So I do think between Apari, Cassigoran, this area right in here, this is where you're going to see seeing the likelihood of a landfalling tropical system. Now remember, the right front quadrant right in this area, that's where you're going to be seeing the fact that you might have coastal storm surge. It's not going to be too severe since the winds are not that strong. About 73 to 80 km per hour sustained winds at this time are really coming out of the storm system. So low-lying areas, beach erosion, really going to be a major factor, but those waves kicking up. So definitely stay away from the waters. It, Try and do not go fishing in the morning. That's one of the major things. You always hear reports with these storms of people going fishing out here and always getting lost at sea. But also take a look at some of these strong bands on the west coast coming in out of the South China Sea. That's that moisture inflow, that counterclockwise circulation going around the storm. So also rough seas are going to be seen there on the west, not to mention the heavy rainfall. But now let's take a look at the few of the agencies. Where is this storm going? Well, JTWC currently 45 knot sustained winds. They also expect this to gear off there towards the north. But as we've seen on that microwave imagery, the center of circulation actually looks a little bit closer to shore there, a little bit farther towards the west. The storm has been continuing continuing on a westerly progression actually despite the fact that most of the models are expecting this to grab towards the north we'll talk about that in a second but first i want to show you pegasus storm outlook on this and i'm going to go ahead and say it this is one of the first times i actually agree with pegasa where they're expecting the storm system to go more so than the other agencies i expect it a little bit farther here towards the south uh pegasa actually expects it to just barely clip a party before moving off there towards the north i think it's very good on them that they're indicating a near or landfall with this storm system into the coming days. Now let's look at JMA, the official agency for the Western Pacific Bay. They, just like JTWC, have been continuing to expect a northwesterly progression, yet the storm has continued to just say no to that forecast, continued on a westerly track. Now it does look like it will likely make a landfall, but their forecast is still pushing it off there towards the north. I would expect at their 15 UCTZ update for them to start to push it down there towards the south, just given the storm's location. Now I'm going to show you the streamline analysis. I know a lot of these outlooks kind of give you the model. I know we've used the streamline analysis in the past. Past. The last two updates, please go back and check them out. We have continued the uses and more and more. I'm continuing to rely on this. You can find this at Sims. Look at the links on our webpage. Well, the thing is, you follow the overall background flow with this. And least given at this time, you have the flow here. You don't want to look so much at the storm because that's making its own flow. But just kind of give that there and look at at the flow kind of going around this from down here towards the south off here towards the north the fact is this is really indicating a basically due west progression along the southern periphery of that subtropical ridge off there towards the north 
So with that said, I strongly believe, once again, a landfalling system along northeastern Luzon. I'm going to go ahead and say it, put it out there. I will not have another update for about two more weeks, so definitely plenty of time to watch this video and analyze my thoughts on this, if it does make landfall or not. But very strongly believe, at least at this time, sometime on Wednesday morning, this will be pushing onshore. And rainfall really is going to be high at risk once again, though. 200 millimeters plus into the next 24 to even 48 hours as the storm progresses across northern Luzon. But also, you see that jetting off there towards the north. Hong Kong, you might get into the mix here by the end of the week. Definitely continue to check into the website for more updates on that. But what I can say is most of southeastern China, all the way down towards the nine, you're going to be wanting to watch this storm system very closely. Actually, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center expects it to intensify into a typhoon. But also, look at this. You have that flow, that southwest monsoonal flow, the enhancement of it. No, it sounds like a broken record. We've been talking about it, but 200 millimeters plus across much of Luzon down towards Visayas is expected here into the coming days, just given this outlook on the storm system. And we'll end with our daily satellite update. Mr. Donis put this out again today. You can see Kaitak down here towards the south, but also severe weather is erupting across the Koreas. There has been report of one death, two people missing in and around Japan. Actually, 72 kilometer per hour winds in Chiba Prefecture just towards the east of Tokyo out here. And then you had 91 millimeters in just an hour's period around Osaka. So just widespread rain showers continuing to occur across this entire area. I know we're concentrating closely on the on the uh, tropics here at westernpacificweather.com. But the fact is, still severe weather elsewhere out here. We definitely want to continue to keep that in mind as well into the coming days. Anyone around Japan, though, do keep an umbrella handy at least for the next 24 hours. And especially over to Korea on Wednesday, expect more severe weather. Those gusty winds, flooding, and landslides are going to be high at risk as well for you. Once again, though, another reminder, I will not be here until August 27th. So... If you do continue to check back into the channel, don't expect any updates. But please go check out RP Weather's channel. He continues to put great updates on, on all these storm systems. Go to his channel, subscribe. Definitely really good information there. And also at the website, continue daily satellite updates. We have our interactive live update there currently, given the most recent news information that's currently occurring across the Philippines, but also the entire Western Pacific. We're still putting out updates for the entire region. So please stay safe out there. Have a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment box below. I always appreciate the feedback. Have a good one. Bye.